Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading for August 12th to the 18th of 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Capricorn, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. Number one of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the magician. This can be an Aries, sun, moon, or ascendance. Its ruling planet is Mercury. It has to do with creative power and intention and a will. We're all the magician. We all have this power. We're just not all educated on how to use it. This is someone that draws power from above to materialize their desires. That cosmic lemon skate, the sideways figure eight, is a symbol of eternal life, domination. It indicates the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea and feeling, desire and motion, like in the law of attraction, as above, so below, as within, so without. So you need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen in your life. It's staying focused on your goals, a time for creation and beginning, and taking on challenges. There's new opportunities. It's a time for action. This is a potential in abundance, a very important beginning. You'll need to work to achieve your goal. It's practical action. It's using your will and your mastery and your organizational skills and your creative talents and you're consciously creating your life experience, being a master at your craft. That sideways figure eight is infinite possibilities. This is a favorable card for your work. It's action and changes and new starts. Here's your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. This can be a challenge. The Four of Cups, Capricorn. This is water energy. It represents feeling some discontent, maybe some dissatisfaction. It could be waiting for the right opportunity, but you do need to be open for room to grow, for something new. But you're taking a rest, you're withdrawing. You do have options. See, there's that offer hanging in the air. It's a divine option. It's contemplating joy. This is drifting and dreaming before getting back to that daily grind. Might be feeling some dissatisfaction or dis indifference. Boredom. It could be daydreaming. This is a withdrawal from an emotional situation. It's going within. Seeking inspiration. You might be tired of something. This is a voluntary withdrawal, like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. You might be tired of a situation and lack emotional resources to proceed. But the answers and the inspiration you need to go on are there for you. Do not sink into apathy. It blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. So pay close attention to your dreams. They are messages. And watch for signs and synchronicities. And do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. Sometimes this is boredom and depression in a romance. Or this person they're ignoring or refusing that fourth cup offered by a hand in the cloud. He seems caught between the world of thought and action. This is ruminating, overanalyzing, waiting for something, turning things over in your mind. Make sure you draw clear conclusions, but do not rush yourself. Here's your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. The Knight of Cups, Capricorn. This can be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This can be romance. It can also be travel, or the coming or going of a matter. This indicates following your emotions and continuing on working on yourself. Do not be surprised if you change your priorities and go with your emotions. This is keeping warmth for a person and showing your love. It's happy emotions and pleasant surprises. 
This could be a person they're bringing a message about love. They're dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They're making advances, propositions, maybe asking you out on a date. This can represent your true love, your Mr. or Mrs. Right. But they're at least a good friend, they're honest, intelligent, and they're willing to come to your aid. This is someone romantic, they're looking for love. They can be fickle, they're full of conflicts. There's emotional intensity here, idealism, and they're a spiritual seeker, an artist, a flirt. And they're impulsive, and they follow their heart and their dreams, and they share their vision with others. They love art and beauty, and they're always looking for ways to bring more into their life. This is a soul connection. It's sincere emotion. Could be following your heart or making amends, offering forgiveness. But a romance is about to occur, or a strong passion for someone. Here's your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Cups, Capricorn. More water energy here. Some more disappointment. You're brooding. This is something that you're dwelling on that happened in the past. It could be painful. Some kind of loss. A regret. This is also a transition. It's those two cups standing that represent what is really important. This is a card of choice. You can continue to brood over what went wrong, or you can think about how it can be better in the future. This is sadness and mourning and suffering. It's an emotional adjustment. It's feelings of loss and sadness and grief that are at work here. This can be the loss of a cherished dream or a love possession. But with this loss comes change and opportunity, so do not run away from your feelings. You've been waiting for this new beginning for a long time. It's a period of transformation, the start of a new phase in life. So use courage and determination to find your way out. Something has passed, it has flowed on, but something new is waiting for you. Turn around and address new spiritual possibilities and truths. Have faith in the future. Turn to the new. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Another card from the past, Capricorn. The six of cups. A lot of water energy here. Has to do with the emotions. This card represents affection and happy memories. It's looking back. It's being nostalgic. You know, be open for nurturing. You could receive a gift or give a gift. This can be an emotional conversation that's connected to your past that will shed light on your future. It's childhood memories and innocence and friendliness, and you can brighten the day of another with a small gesture of kindness and become childlike again and resolve bad, hood, bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy, and take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This is someone that might be digging up missing aspects of a rich store of past experiences. There may be a person that does not wish to get their fingers dirty. It could be a possibility of a fear of some truth coming out. Maybe someone digging up dirt. But this is a blooming spiritual experience. A meeting with an old friend, an old lover, something with roots in the past that may be reconsidered, and that past efforts may be present or future rewards. Could be thoughts of a past love that are still haunting. And if the relationship has ended, you're better off for it. And if the relationship is still going strong, it means a deeper commitment. This is love and harmony and joy and safety and security. It's being playful and spontaneous and giving the benefit of the doubt. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Trust your vibes by Sonia Choquette. Capricorn, clear the past. Card number 36. You also have quite a few references to the past here in your tarot cards. Clear the past, Capricorn. To flow in spontaneity and synchronicity, your guides advise you to forgive those who have hurt you and free your attention and the energy from the past. It restores your vitality and awareness of higher vibrations. Nothing positive comes from holding on to old wounds of the past. They're just preventing you from experiencing the blessings and the guidance of today. Notice what resentments and old angers are burdening your heart. One by one, 
abolish these psychic chains by forgiving those involved, including yourself. Acknowledge the gifts each past injury has offered you. This will allow you to forgive more quickly, and if you're stuck or not in the mood to forgive, fake it. Even pretending to forgive sets the wheels of healing and higher vibrations in motion. This doesn't mean you condone anything or unjust or feel it was okay for anyone to injure you. It just simply means that you're ready to move past these mistakes and seek a higher and more loving vibration. You can't reach what your heart seeks as long as you remain physically attached to your past wounds. If you seek justice, ask your angels to render it and let it go. You will immediately experience a lightening of heart, a deeper connection to your higher self and your guides. In this lighter state, your guides can direct you far more easily to what will bring you peace and calm. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.